We're here today in Fort Wayne, Indiana. In this episode, we'll be exploring the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. I'm here with my wife, Abby, and our friend's son, Marcus. So make sure you follow us as we explore this amazing zoo. The Fort Wayne Zoo is located within Froggy Park. The zoo was opened in 1965 and includes four sections, the African Journey, Australian Adventure, the Central Zoo, and the Indonesian Rainforest. Now let's go on an African safari and check out some animals indigenous to Africa. The Fort Wayne Children's Zoo is continuously ranked one of the top zoos in America. As of 2015, by TripAdvisor, it was ranked as the seventh best zoo in America. At the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, you have four opportunities to feed the animals. The stingrays, giraffes, goats, and the ponies. Sounds good, I guess. Just a snack. Please remember there are no touch animals. She is so happy to have everybody given her lotus. If you listen to her eat her lettuce, you're going to hear it crunch a little bit. She's going to get all that water out of there if she can. Because if, you, if you've ever seen a giraffe before, you don't know how it is for them to get down and eat and drink water, too. Hey, Marcus, what would you think? Out of their water. <laughs> and she is that kind of sweet, sweet, sweetheart. Yeah, she, she likes to breathe in her ear. Like, <laughs> she does. The other day, she was eating alfalfa hay right here. Continue to follow us as we head into the Indonesian rainforest and check out animals from that area. Indonesia is a country of 13,000 islands and tropical rainforests are home to more than half of all plant and animal species on earth. They don't come down to the ground for anything. They don't need anything that's down there. So the way that they travel is actually swinging through the trees. sleep up high in the tree canopy. They make a new nest every night so they'll bend over your branches and they are all nice and comfy with leaves and everything. And that's where they sleep. They're literally high up in the trees every night. It was truly amazing to get footage of this Sumatran tiger. Their numbers are dwindling and they're close to extinction. If we don't do something soon to save this species, they'll be gone forever. Follow us as we head to another part of the zoo, the Central Zoo, where we're going to see some amazing animals such as a red panda, American otter, sea lions, and some penguins on our way to the Australian Adventure. They're so cute, aren't they? Yeah, they're cute. I could totally have them You can see them. I want to 
<laughs> Let's head to the last section of the zoo, the Australian Adventure. On our way here, we'll pass through a food court, the stingray feeding, and a cool pavilion. On our way to check out some awesome animals from the outback, the dingoes, the kangaroos, other animals from the outback, so follow us. Now we're here at Stingray Cove where you can feed the stingrays. Unfortunately, they ran out of food today, but usually it costs five tokens or five dollars to feed them. Here at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, there's four rides you can do. The Railroad, the Carousel, the Sky Safari, and the Crocodile Creek Adventure Ride, which we're getting ready to do now. So follow us. Hey Marcus, look back. <laughs> It's been a long day, so me and Abby decided to not take the train ride, but some nice person gave us a free ticket to ride the train, so we let Marcus ride. To conclude our zoo experience, we headed back to the Central Zoo and checked out the Indiana Family Farm, where there's a barn and livestock. Me and Marcus were lucky enough to get to interact with the goats. It was an amazing time. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, help grow the channel. Until the next one.